Hey, today I decided to add a little extra to my um, R134 refill. Um, information on this uh, air conditioner, actually I have two. Um, we bought two pretty much. Uh, we bought the first one and we're pretty much similar to this one. It's a gold star. There. And it actually, we... Um, uh, when we bought it, we actually really liked it because it has a remote control feature and This is like when I was really young um, I probably was about Six seven years old then anyway, it's been about ten years um, And give and take because I don't really remember that time and um my dad can't really remember that long either, um, but I know it's for a fact it's about 10 to almost 11. That's all I know. Anyway, um, when we bought it, it was really nice. It was top of the line. It was remote control, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, years later, um, it doesn't put out any more coolant. Um, so we just so I decided uh, we it, because it was sort of like my first high-tech um, air conditioner I didn't want to let go so I left it in the basement and it sat there for years um, we were cleaning out our, our basement last year and we decided either to throw it away or um, let me play with it so what I did was I went out and I took the R134. I saw a guy on YouTube trying to refill an, a refrigerator, but not an air conditioner. So I decided to do the same thing, but an air conditioner instead, because it's pretty much the same thing. Anyway, so he used this valve right here, right there. Um, I'll probably put a link to it. Uh, I'm gonna zoom it in so you can see. That's the valve right there. It's called a bullet valve, and I do have videos um, on how to uh, uh, install those and all that stuff too. But that's the UPC number right there for those, in case you need it. And it pretty much looks like that right there on this picture right here. And I actually show you how to do it. But anyway. This is my second year, okay? This is the second year that I'm using this and it's still pumping out just as cold as it was before. Now, there was one guy uh, actually stating stupid shit about being a professional, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna blow my air compressor, compressor blah, 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 blah. All that crap. Hello? If you read the the, 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 the the description, it says 10 years old. What the fuck do you think I'm going to do with it? Either take it apart, uh, uh, grab some parts from it, or just junk them in the thing. So, hey, why not that I'm going to use, if they're going to, if they're doing the same thing with air conditioner in the car, why can't I just do it in this air conditioner? As long as I can keep the, 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 compressor, uh, the compression down to the rate that is normal or... Uh, according to, uh, actually I use the air conditioner, the car air conditioner valve that they come with those things that you just snap them on to the R134 and you refill it. Well, I use the same thing and I put it up to, I believe was like uh, in, the green, in the green zone. I don't have it here because my dad, dad actually have uh, kept it in his car because he has to refill his air conditioner soon for the car um, because there was a leakage in there. Anyway. Now that's another story. I'll probably do another video on those. But anyway. Um, so what I did was I put it on the green zone. And I was outside. And I measured the temperature and everything. And I filled it just sort of like to the green zone. Just like it was it would. And to my surprise. When I turned that back on. It was frozen. And it was frosting up and everything. And that's how I got this thing working again. And is blowing air, cold air, for the first time in like years. Because remind you, this has been sitting in the basement for a long time. 
um, like I said, we were going to throw them out. So I said, well, maybe I can get those valve right there, which was only $5 and was free shipping. And then I bought a can of R134A um, at uh, AutoZone for $10. So in reality, it was $5 plus this one for 5 bucks. But the other one, I didn't have to do it. So it actually was only like uh this five dollars for this one and it'll be like uh for the for the stupid valve right there that's all it cost me on that one so in reality two of those i refill two air conditioner for 20 bucks and like i said remind you they are working perfectly fine last year and i have to make another video this year because i want to uh, uh maybe if you're thinking about it and making uh, refilling it uh, maybe you can give a try, but that's your call on that one. But I'm just telling you that it actually works. And I'm going to measure the, um, the temperature with my temp gauge right here. Okay. And as you can see right there, it's pumping out what? 52 degree right there. Okay. That's 52 right at the nozzle there. Uh, the surrounding environment, so like the wood here. What is it? at 76 degree here right now like this wall right here it's 76 uh, the setting on that is at 68 and then around here let's see what this one here it's 78 right here 77 the wood from here it's 77 76 and what the white it's around 76 in, in this room right now and at the nozzle where that is it's pumping out 53 degree 52 degree right there and you can see the proof right there from the laser it's pumping out 52 degree here in the front of it coming in it's about 70 something degree 74 it's coming in at 74 and like I said the wood is stabilized it's about 76 so the room right now is 76, 75. My room here, it's coming in about 75. So I would say about 76 because I'm measuring at the wood here. And this is my room temperature. So around 76 right here. But as you can see right there, it's reading at 51, 52 degree. And you can tell that it actually works. And just for what? I did it for uh $5 for the valve and $5 for the um uh the container which is it was $9 I believe but I think it was eight like 8.99 there was like a sale on but let's say it's the regular retail is $10 and the valve will be $10 because it's $5 each year so I was able to refill both air both air conditioner for $10 and if I have to refill again, I don't have to buy that switch again because it's already on there right now. I can just redo it again. But as of right now, it this is the second year. I want to make the video of it because, like I said, people are stupid. They said, like, leave it to the professional, blah, 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 blah. Really? Since when you become a professional? Really? Like, I have to go in space? Like, I have to build a spaceship into Mars? Like, I can't freaking put a... A, a little freaking uh, a pierce valve valve right there, and put them in the air conditioner, and then refill it with with the, with the, with the, with whatever. I mean, even seen people filling with the um, uh, the dust cleaners, like the computer dust cleaners. If this not gonna be called Max, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna see what's gonna do. And it's those those cans is like two dollars, two ninety nine, so it's three dollars. And you can get one of those at like Office Depot or Staples or whatever for three bucks. And I'm just going to refill it. And if it's good, the only thing they said is there's actually oil in the um, in them. So you're going to mess up your compressor. So that's why I stuck with the one, the R134A. Um, supposedly they have oil in them so that it won't damage your, uh, your compressor. So, but... 
I've seen people in the other car doing it and stuff like that. So, um, if you want to give it a try and the air conditioner just dead and it's not even working no more, as long as there's no leakage in there, I would put the valve in there first, test it to make sure there's no leakage. Uh, or even slow leakage is obviously these things died after 10 years or what is it nine years um, to be exact or even eight years because we left it in the basement for a year so uh, I would say eight years after eight years it's just dead and it doesn't blow out cold air anymore um, like I said we're about to throw them out so if you decided to want to make to, 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 to try it and make sure to test it there's no leakage or anything um, when you put the valve in, um, the insert of it, you can actually test it from there to see. Use the um, the refill, uh, the, the the car refill thing, and you can actually see if you lose any compression. And from that, uh, you don't have any. You don't need any special equipments or anything. From that, you can tell if it's worth it to refill or not. That's what I did on both of these. I put it on to the compression to, to, to measuring um, I have a little thing that that stick it on there and I left it on for like two days to see if I actually lose any compression and it didn't so to my surprise that's what I did and you can tell and you can have proof right there that I took readings from that so anyway uh, if you have any questions or anything like that post it on and if I'm around I will reply to you um, I always reply, try to reply to everyone, um, but it, like I said, if I'm around like quick or something, I, I'm pretty sure I can reply pretty quick to you. But anyway, uh, if you decide to do it, um, uh, give it a try before you throw it out, because it did save me a lot of money. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with my new air conditioner, but these air conditioners actually feels a little bit a lot cooler than the one I just got recently. Well, not recently, like two years ago. But anyway. Um, if this has helped you, give it a thumbs up. Maybe it'll help other people too.